In this video, we're going to learn how to make a basic cube and then use that cube to create different uh, puzzle cube pieces um, using an assembly. So first, we're going to go ahead and just press create and you're going to do a new on shape document. Um, I'm going to call mine puzzle cube um, pieces. You can add your name in there if you'd like and then just create public document that will open up into an on shape uh, workspace and we're going to go ahead and start um, always start with a sketch and we're going to make our first sketch on the top plane so just uh, move your cursor around until the top plane is highlighted in yellow and that will tell us where we're going to put our first sketch we're going to put a center point rectangle so go ahead and click on that go to your center and then just um, click and drag and then when you unclick, it will open up one of the white boxes. We're going to just put the number one in there for one inch and then the other one one inch. So we have now created a one inch by one inch square. Go ahead and press the check mark. And next we're going to extrude it up to make it into three dimensions. We'll highlight that box that we just made and we'll extrude it up one inch and then go ahead and press the check mark. And now we have our beautiful cube. It looks amazing. Um, let's go ahead and click part one right here. It will highlight our entire thing that we just made. And I'm gonna go ahead and click over here on appearances or these uh, appearance panel, double click on the blue color and we're gonna name it. We're gonna um, change the color. I'm gonna change it to red. So go ahead and click the check mark. You can close that window by clicking on the panel again. And down here where it says Part Studio 1, I'm going to go ahead and press Control click Oops, not, um, I think it's a double click. And we're going to rename that and we're going to call that our red um, cube. Beautiful. Um, so now we have our first part. Um, now if you Control or Option, oops, I did it again. We're going to duplicate it. And so that will create a copy of the red cube right here. Um, and we want to actually call that blue cube. So I just keep on opening a bunch of new spaces, don't I? Um, one of these days I'll figure out what my shortcuts are. So we're going to rename that uh, blue cube. And you could make another one that is green cube. Um, and of course, this is not a blue cube yet. So we're going to highlight part one, come over here to our color panel, and we will double click and make that blue and looks good check mark close that panel down all right so now we have a red cube and a blue cube great so now we're going to move over to assembly one and we are going to make our first puzzle cube shape um, and we'll make our first one red so in the assembly um, you want to press insert right here and when you press insert it will give you all the different parts that you've possibly made um, so we're going to go ahead and insert the red cube and you can click it several times and we're going to go ahead and click it four times so that we're going to insert four red cubes go ahead and press the check mark I'm going to scroll out now it's nice because when you're in the assembly mode um, you can drag these around um, they're not stuck in the plane like they are when they are in the parts studio. Um, okay, so we are going to make a tower. That's like the, you know, just like a straight tower. And so the way we're going to do that is by fastening um, different faces of these four cubes together. So over here, you have the different ways that you can uh, mate things together. And we're going to choose this one right here, which is called the fastened mate. So go ahead and click that. It opens up a window. And we are going to, uh, the way that I remember it is like, you're gonna click on the first face and you're gonna say move that, and then you're gonna click on the second um, face to there. So if you click over here, for example, um, and it says the number one, so you might have to double click it, I have to right click it. So that's my first face, and I'm gonna say I wanna move that over here, and when I click there, it will give me the number two. Um, and notice that it looks like your first cube disappeared, but really it's just like inside there. So you have to, um, click on the flip primary axis and now you have that and you press check mark and and then go ahead and press the X and now you have this and these can move around together that looks great okay so now I want to put one of these cubes on top of here so again I'm gonna press fastened mate and I'm gonna click here and see the number one so it says move that to over here and you should do number two again it looks like the cube disappeared but just do flip primary access axis and then press the check mark and now um, you have three cubes together um, and so then the last one let's go ahead and put the last one over here and instead of making a tower let's make a L shape um, so again you're going to press fasten mate and we're going to move uh, this one 
to uh, this one and change the direction and then press the check mark. And now we have an L shape. Let's get it back in the isometric view and it looks amazing. Uh, if you come over here, you can um, rename it. So we can rename it the L shape and it's red, it looks amazing. All right, so now let's make another one. Let's insert a, another create assembly. Um, and so now we have an assembly over here and we're gonna insert, and this time we're gonna insert our blue cube and let's go ahead and in insert, um, let's insert five of them for fun. Um, go ahead and press the green check mark and they're all gonna be stacked on each other so you can kind of just move them around. Uh, so in assemblies, you can click and drag things around, which is nice. Um, okay, so we have five. Um, so we're going to make a, let's make the shape where there's four around each other and then one going up. Um, I don't know what that's called. I'm, I don't know. We'll think of a name later. So the first thing we're going to do is click on our fasten mate. And we're going to say that we want this one to go on to the side. So that one. Oops. All right, and then reverse the direction and press the check mark. Sweet. Okay, and I'm going to close that out. And then the second one, I want to put this one on to over here. And I'm going to change the direction, press the check mark. Looks good. And now another one, we're going to press this one. We want this one. Hello. Oh, oh, and it says two, so I don't want that. I'm going to close that out because something went wrong. So again, we're going to check on this one and we want that to be over here and change the direction. Beautiful. And then finally, we have this last one. Uh, we want it to go on top of here. So fasten mate and we'll say we want that one to go on top. I'm going to put it over here and then change the direction and da -da, looks great. All right put it back in the isometric view. And now we have our second puzzle cube piece. It looks great. Um, I'm gonna call this the, I don't know, I'm just gonna call it the Cinco for five. So I'm gonna rename it and I'm gonna call it the Cinco. You can call it whatever you want. Maybe you have specific names that you like. Um, all right, so then if I wanted to do another one, I could come over to my red cube and um, click on, not that, uh, duplicate and I could call a uh, red cube copy over here and I could rename that um, green cube sweet and then of course I would need to change the actual color uh, change the color here oops double click this and let's change it to green check mark nice close it out all right, and then again, you would do parts assembly, so create a new assembly. Um, here we go, and again, press insert, and we're gonna insert our green cube. Oh, why does our blue cube look red? It's weird. Green, green, green. Let's just do four green ones, check mark. And then, uh, does our blue cube still look blue? It's still blue, it's weird why it's, anyhow. Um, okay, so here we are. And we have our green four, four green cubes. Um, and I'm gonna make like a Z shape. So I'm gonna go over and then maybe over and then over like that. So we are gonna click our fasten mate and we're gonna say we want that one to go there. Switch the direction, check mark, nice. Um, and then we want another fasten mate. I'm gonna put one here so click fasten mate and we want that one to go there and change the direction perfect um, then we do another one and we're gonna do this face to this face switch the direction check mark awesome so uh, that looks great I'm gonna call this one a Z because it looks like a Z to me so if you come over here and rename it, we're going to call it the Z shape. All right, so now we have a Z shape, uh, we have an L shape, and we have the Cinco, 
uh, that's in blue and we have our different cubes um, that we could in uh, duplicate and make different colors and just build them from there. So that's how you would make different puzzle cube pieces. So have fun with that and I will see you next time.